So guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming to Brazil. Yeah. Nice to see you here. Uh, so can you please tell us uh, about uh, where you are from, what's your age and why you, why you came to Brazil? Uh, yeah, I come from Latvia, from the sun, small town uh, of Almera. And uh, we come here to build the track. No. Okay, Andres? Yes, I came to be honest help to build the track and I'm also from Almere, Latvia and I'm 31 years old. Okay, we just had an interesting conversation. I was kind of shocked. What is your profession? <laughs> that he was originally an architect and you are the teacher of slow tracing, which is I not was, very yeah. uh, common profession in the Czech Republic, you know. So <laughs> I'm really amazed, right? Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, how did you move, you know, from your original profession to, uh, to building tracks? What was the reason? What happened? Uh, actually, it was a long time, a dream. Uh, to build tracks, but uh, uh, to start to build the tracks need should uh, big investments and uh, also need a knowledge and uh, we start quite from zero completely. Mm -hmm. and uh, it was a lucky situation when we found a customer mm -hmm. who wants uh, to be our build tracks and uh, we it was a situation in uh, Europe to nobody do it and uh, we explained to we would like to do but we have no experience in this question so we made agreement mm -hmm. Good. what we are doing and uh, the first track that we built was very good and, uh, and uh, the track moved to Finland and Kotka uh -huh. And uh, since that, so the Finland is the main customer for us. We, every year we build for Finland some tracks. Yeah. Do you build tracks for a living or do you do something else as well? Of course, I, I do something else uh, because, uh, you know, tracks uh, takes a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, not always, like in this case, when uh, this uh, COVID came, you have to search for mm -hmm. another type of uh, income. So yeah, no, at this moment I'm working as a carpenter. Okay, okay. Yes. So uh, at the beginning uh, you said that uh, you was a teacher of the slow tracing. Yes. Would you enjoy more to to do the slow tracing, the actual racing with the slow cars, or to build the track? Actually, it's quite hard to choose one because I like the process together. I believe that slow tracing is more than just uh, some kind of a hobby or uh, or work for me it's like a, I don't know a lifestyle <laughs> okay, okay okay because everything I like to do is uh, sometimes uh, not sometimes but it's kind of uh, connected to slot racing mm -hmm. either it's I'm building a cars or either I'm building a track it's still slot racing you know okay okay so yeah and so in, in the last years we was very busy to build the tracks so yeah. i could very oftenly say to it was a job for the living average we build about 10 tracks per year okay and uh, so the last three years we We're are quite busy, working yeah. very hard we have uh, enough big working place so we can build the three tracks at the same time uh, also, it's uh, build tracks. Is it just need one of the part that it's need to make the project of the track? Yeah. Need to think about all corners. Then it's need to cut, uh, build, deliver, package, make it together. It's overall uh, per one month track. It takes more than two months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By the way, guys, it was a great experience for me to see the process how you build it. You know how the track has arrived, you know, we floated the track, you came in one week time and built the track in two days time, which is <laughs> unbelievable, you know. Uh, no one would ever believe that this beautiful track was not here, you know, two days ago, you know, that no. we started, you know, from scratch. So, yeah. uh, I mean, yesterday it was <laughs> looking here, <laughs> now, now it's in sequence. They do that every month. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, yes. So, and, and again, it's uh, the same question as I asked Andres. So, what do you prefer more, racing or building the tracks or building the models or is it like uh, connected? I would say, to, I, I really like racing. 
uh, build the cars, it's a hard work. Uh, no, uh, because uh, uh, more cars. <laughs> Build the cars is that I have a lot of cars. I prepare mm -hmm. per for the for example for race I sometimes prepare seven or fifteen cars mm -hmm. and then uh, I choose which with who I will drive and the prepare cars I maybe spend one week in home for the preparing for the race. Yeah. And uh overall if I need the very correct answer I would say I might much more enjoy track building. Mm -hmm. Because it's, uh, I didn't say it's more easy, I would say it's, I more like it. You like it more? Yeah. yeah. And uh, if I need a choice, I definitely say I much more enjoy track building. Cool. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we are sitting here uh, in prison, uh, so I don't want to guide your answer, but tell me. Is any of your tracks that you have built exceptional, something you are really proud on? It is some tracks, but is really? I would I would say uh, we're spending much more time like on other tracks. With that particular one? Uh, yes, it, one of the most interesting tracks we built for the Oslo Casino pub. Mm -hmm. Where was the hill climb in Norway? In right, Norway, Norway. Norway. Board, uh, with two levels, like a town. Yeah, exactly. Not yeah. little bit, but one exactly. Top the other. <laughs> top, yeah, uh, situation. Uh, that was really challenging. How yeah, to, because how to it was it. like a first uh, uh, track that we built uh, in the uh, shape of like a walking uh, hill climb. Yeah, like yeah. Mm -hmm. half flat, half banked. Uh, yeah. We in a 3D programs that calculated uh, how to bank. Uh, then we make it back to flat and cut flat and uh, make it together and make it bank and and, and, and that was unique experience. Unique <laughs> experience. <Yes. laughs> yeah. You uh, don't do that every day. Usually, yeah, your that's customer asks like for uh, a flat track. Different. Bam. Uh, Here you go. This design was we spending. Uh, Three months to make it a design. Two, three months to make a design. Yes, uh, it's not good for you know uh, uh, making money. <laughs> uh, it this track design was uh, not preferred for the making the money. Uh, the, I work very seriously on the track design for the world championship. Mm. And then the world championship with big presentation of all that's what I'm doing and uh, track design it's uh, extremely important mm -hmm. and uh, some first 15 track designs was okay. out and uh, and uh, making track designs you cannot uh, make in uh, one design in a day you need some fresh idea you need to think about a lot of uh, how to make it each corner how will be visibility uh, this visibility will be enough good or you can make it better and, and if you can make it better so previously is out <laughs> <laughs> and uh, overall it's uh, three months and do you have someone who is giving you a feedback on these proposals or is it just one one of you is building the draft and second one is you know giving a feedback or no, how do you work no. together uh, I'm doing everything Mm -hmm. And uh, Andres help uh, with logistic and uh, help to build the track. So uh, all projects, uh, everything what we need to, to, to think how we do it's uh, about me. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the most important knowledge to uh, design the track? It's many points what you need to follow in the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly important is it room sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, in a room sizes uh, should be some zones where it's for walk, uh, walkers, uh, where uh, people do something uh, different things, and uh, exactly the place where will be track. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in this place, it's also should, um, possibility. It is some pillars or uh, something else, and we should make a design in uh, this square mm -hmm. uh, traditionally track have eight lanes 
so uh, it is eight drivers and it will be eight marshals maybe yes. sometimes it's possible to make seven marshals uh, by the way how many marshals do we need for this track seven eight it's possible seven it's also eight yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's no problem. Someone is definitely better, you yeah. know, someone, you know, to have a break. Yes, uh, and uh, uh, all these things you need to uh, put in a, in a one design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cannot, we, of course, we can build track with 14 turns, but uh, some turns in the race will be Richard Marshall. It's not going to It will be interesting, but really uh, hard. Uh, I'm clear on the design. Yeah. How about the material, choice of the material? Uh, is it always the same or does it vary somehow? Uh, it is, I could say, one of the uh, greatest point what we have. It's uh, perfect quality materials. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we start like uh, normally with MDF, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, MDF uh, in the latest years uh, losing quality. It's uh, quite uh, soft inside and, and becomes uh, fractured. And uh, if you made the, it made the corner squeeze it very angled, uh, the jet lag of the car just heated, damaged the. Damaged the Material. Uh, material and the uh, result is not so good uh, so overall we change material after one year when we work with MDF mm -hmm. to plywood most of people will be very skeptical about plywood but we know to uh, plywood uh, we have uh, in Latvia a plywood manufacturer mm -hmm. who made very good quality plywood who is one of the most expensive in the world Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a very small thickness, one millimeter mm -hmm. each uh, layer, layer, and they glue it like a radial one on the other. Uh -huh. And overall, the material is extremely strong. Mm -hmm. And the manuf manufacturer made some 14 types of plywood. We mm -hmm. buy it all, mm -hmm. test it, and choose uh, two best what is it exactly for the tracks and now we just uh, ordered the manufacturer hello manufacturer we need we need more <laughs> we need more yeah, yeah we keep them do you have an estimation was the total weight of the track uh about one ton one ton in yeah, total yeah. and how many people uh, how many pieces is it possible to disassemble uh, the track uh, so is it like 14 pieces or a, uh, no, 17, 18, uh, it is uh, normal. Uh, so roughly every piece is like 50 kilos without the legs, roughly, you would say? Approximately, yeah, approximately, 60, I would say, maybe not. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. So guys, we are in person. Famous city of Pilsen, producer of Pilsen beer. Yeah. How did you enjoy last couple of days in Pilsen? Tell us more. How do you like our city? Nice. nice. The city is really cool. Yesterday we went out for a walk and saw some beautiful uh, architecture in the old town and also tasted some good beers around the bars. And uh, you know, the city is beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Okay, okay. So let's move back to the track we are discussing. Uh, how long was the track under construction? We were discussing the design, uh, but the actual construction. How long uh, did you spend building that? Actually, we built it in uh, three weeks. This track, yeah, oh, from scratch to ready track, it was like for three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you think are the most suitable models for the track? What, where do we enjoy the most? You know, definitely it's not for the wing cars, right? As we all know, it's a flat track, so for flat tracks, uh, we assume to use the Eurosport cut models. Production. Uh, production. production is really good for this track, yeah, mm -hmm. because it's fast and it's technical, and you mm -hmm. still have to learn how to uh, properly drive the car to win the race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you expect you know us to have rather very strong motors uh, or rather soft you know soft soft soft, soft, soft. soft. Will be more easy drive yeah okay yeah, definitely okay. What, the what's the most complicated part or most complicated segment of the track 
Where do you expect the major death to be? Death corner. <laughs> <laughs> death corner. <laughs> That's your favorite? <laughs> That's all one, all time favorite. Yeah, and the, the red other red one is after the <laughs> most <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Okay. Red one, yeah. Okay, okay. So uh, we built that trick for uh, the track also for the kids, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you attract more kids coming, you know, to the track? How would uh, you, what do you do uh, recommend us? There are two ways how to do that. Uh, uh, one way is to have some small track that you bring around the town and show for everyone to just try it out how it is, mm -hmm. to have a certain car or something. And the other way is uh, to put more effort in, uh, I don't know, nowadays kids use uh, mobile telephones and uh, social networking and stuff. You put some info with the catchy pictures <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know, some some great uh, uh, sign on the outside of the uh, house and you know, uh, really close to here is this uh, zoo. Every kid is coming around the zoo, you know, and uh, they maybe they don't even know that here is the great track. Most likely they don't know, right? Yeah. And I, 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 I believe they would be really happy to have uh, some spin with the cars <laughs> on the track and, you know, check it out how it's real fast cars working. I think you have a great place where it's possible to make some parties with yeah, the children also. is it together. Uh, we know some experience. Because you know. it is, uh, in, I would say a little bit in a close area. And, yeah. uh, uh, if it's some children, it will be a little more children, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, the exactly that's a party moment. Uh, they like enjoy, and if the if moment of they enjoy, it's uh, much bigger, uh, much more difficult for the children is it to build cars. Uh, but if somebody helps about this question, then uh, the enjoy learn. will be yeah, high course. level of mm -hmm. driving. I heard that the track exists in three copies uh, in the yeah. world. Can you tell us where are these copies? Okay, one is obviously here. One is it and, here. And uh, do you plan to build more copies than these three? Uh, actually, yes. Uh, one is it in Pilsen, one it is in Latvia, and one it is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Mm -hmm. And uh, very soon will be one more in Finland. Finland. Yeah, and so after some one and a half year, we will build one more for Latvia, where we'll build one championship. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's not so big surprise about uh, if uh, design is uh, very enjoyable and people very really like. In America, is very traditionally use some traditional designs. They did not like to each time different track. They use same designs many many years. Yeah, like the Blue King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> all time favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, guys, thank you for your time. But uh, would you be so kind and would you invite the racers uh, to come to the track? Tell to the racers why they should come, what they should expect. Oh. Uh, Track is uh, easy to learn, but difficult to drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm, you know, I tried, uh, and after you know a short while, uh, I got a feeling that I'm able to circle around of the track, right? Yeah. But I understand that my lap times are probably not the best. <laughs> and of course, it takes time to learn the yeah. fast laps to make them on all eight lanes because some of these lanes are more trickier than other. So you have to find your pace. So guys, thank you very much for building the track for us. Thank you for coming to Berlin. Yeah. My pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Thank you, Andres. Yeah. Thank you, Andres. Yeah.